Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to render your GFX or GFX animation um, faster and um, make it look like cycles, but it's actually EV render. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this little camera icon thing that says render properties. And then you're going to want to go to this thing that says render engine and click on that. You'll see something that says EV and workbench and cycles. You're going to want to click on EV because that's what we're going to use. And now you're going to see something called ambient occlusion. So just click on that and make sure there's a check mark. Then click on this little arrow thingy. And right here where it says distance factor and trace precision, you're going to want to change that to, uh, let me see. So you're going to want to change this one to something around like, well, I'm just going to play around with it real quick and just go into rendered mode. Okay, so um, first let's add some lighting. So to add the lighting, all you're going to want to do is go to this earth icon that says world properties and it's where it says use nodes and color. If you just, if you're going to use an HDRI, you just click use nodes and then click this little circle icon and environment texture and then import your HDRI like this. But if you just wanted to use the, just some lighting because it's maybe indoors or something, what you're going to want to do is um, don't click on use nodes and where it says color and it shows this dark gray color thing click on that and you're going to want to change that to white and this is only for um, indoor because if this was outdoor it would look very weird so I recommend using an HDRI for um, if you're going to make an outdoor GFX but anyway so now that we got the lighting done all you're going to want to do is go back to this camera icon and I'm going to change this one to maybe, um, let's just keep playing around with it first. Okay, um, I think I'm going to want to change it to this, 0 0.930. And for factor, I'm going to want to change this to, I think 0 0.71 is good. And then now for trace precision, let's see, um, I think around here, 0 0.634. So yeah, now it looks a little bit more like cycles, but actually, wait, I'll just change it to 0 0.980. Sorry for the confusion. This just looks better to me. So, um, yeah. And, um, if you're making a GFX or GFX intro, just make sure to set it up and stuff. And then maybe do this or you could do this first. It doesn't really matter. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the EV render. And now I'm going to show you how to render faster in Cycles Render. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, so now we're just going to want to change this back to Cycles. And it's going to look like that. And it's... Oh, Oh, it's transparent so to change that all you're going to want to do is scroll down click on light path light pass <laughs> go to transparency click on that and change it to zero and now you don't have a transparent head okay so now here's the part where I'm going to show you how to render it faster so right here where it says device CPU Click on that and click on GPU Compute. And now after that, you're going to want to go down to Performance and see where it says Auto Tile Size. Well, it won't say that at first, but um, to make that come, so like it basically Auto Tile Size changed it to the um, like the tile size that will make it render the fastest. And so what you're going to want to do to to get that is go to Edit at the top and then go to preferences and now you're going to see this and it should be on like interface but just go to add-ons search up tile 
and there's something that should say render auto tile size. So you will click on the check mark and this will pop up on the side. And now when you render it, it'll change it to the tile size that's fastest. So um, yeah, and also you're going to want to go to this, click on that and then scroll down and go to denoising. And then just like set up your GFX like normal and turn on ambient occlusion and everything. And yeah, you should be set. So um, basically it's just gonna, it's gonna render a few hours. Um, like it'll still render like hours and maybe even um, a day or two, but it's gonna render like quicker. So like maybe like a, like a few hours quicker. So yeah. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you and yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if this did and yeah, I hope you enjoyed.